Guys, I'm back out here today. Um, gonna try and, you know, people recognize me, I guess. Uh, gonna try and uh, get this battery in and get this truck started uh, for the first time in a few months. And then try to probably work on fixing the, um, the hood a little bit. And I'm gonna see if my, I mean, it's colder today. I'm gonna see if my fingers can take it. And I'm going to try and uh, get this, um, these wires put together or put on here for the windows, for the power windows. And if I have time, maybe I'll do the, uh, the new mirrors with the inlaid blinkers. Um, but who knows, it might get too cold out here for that, so. Apologize for my rain. All right, so I gotta apologize because on the first take of the video, I had did a cold start. And as soon as it started and I was like geeked and happy, uh, my phone shut off. So I was out here like recording and it wasn't catching nothing. So my bad for that, but I'll start it again before this is all over. and. You guys will hear it running again and just to make sure I didn't screw up anything. But uh, I've been working on the hood, trying to get it to fit right. And I got it pretty good, but I noticed something like right here on this side because of this part, this little, uh, I guess, indentation uh, from the body or from the firewall, the hood doesn't shut all the way well not shut all the way it doesn't it this gets caught up on it and it causes this lip to sit high and then that lip over there to sit really low um so i'm just gonna have to buy like one of those little rotary tools and just kind of shave all of this lip down because on the original hood it has like some kind of curve or whatever to fit right because of this and then over here, I just noticed that when on this side, hold on, let me put it down. All right, so, hood's down now. So I noticed that pretty much right on this edge, you can really see where it's rubbing. And here, it's where it's really bad. Sorry for the angle. But you see this is peeling already and that's no good. I gotta fix that. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out some way to just get that fixed later. Uh, but that's no good. So I'm gonna have to shave all of that lip down all the way down through here just to kind of save myself. Cause you can see with this little screen on, it's like no clearance right here, right up in there. It's just like hardly anything. Can't even get my nail underneath there. Uh, so I'm gonna try to get this screwed on and fit it as better, as best as possible. Uh, so I'm gonna try to do that now. Let me put this back up, put the hood back up. Okay. I'm 
try to get all that fit as best as possible down here <clears throat> and then put that shroud back on. Uh, but <clears throat> something tells me it's not gonna be the best fit or option. <clears throat> and for some odd reason, I can't figure out, I should have looked at this before I took it off, but this thing, fitment is all weird. So I'm gonna have to figure out where this truly goes in the scheme of things to try to get it back there again. But I'm pretty sure it's like all the way over there or this might not even be the right freaking screen for this. All I know is I'm gonna try to get this back on to save myself the trouble of having stuff fall down in there behind my firewall and causing that to rust and get cruddy. But um, again, I apologize. <clears throat> it's been crazy. Uh, just gonna try to get this piece back together and fire this up for you guys. And then once I get that done. Oh, another thing. So I've been like hesitating putting this uh, windshield wiper motor on for one reason, because I thought I was so stupid. I thought I had to take this off because I thought the windshield wiper motor was down in here and I'm so stupid, I, I, I didn't even think twice. It's sitting right here in front of me and I'm like stupid. You know what, let me let me back up too. I should have prefaced all of my videos with this disclaimer. If you can't tell by now, I am not a professional mechanic. I'm just a guy that does this uh, for fun and the real reason I'm building this truck is to honor my grandfather and my uncle and uh, my dad. My uncle and my grandfather are still alive. But my, or my uncle and my dad are still alive, but my grandfather uh, sadly passed away <laughs> some years ago. But they all had trucks, Chevy trucks, square bodies, old school trucks, low riders and whatnot. <clears throat> and I just was like, you know what? I want one too. So that's why I'm really building this. Uh, and I, I, I'm just a... A kind of a car enthusiast guy so I like cool cars and I like modified cars and stuff like that and trucks and all that stuff so uh, if you see me doing stuff wrong on here that's why because I'm not a professional and I would never claim to be a professional however every day I learn something new and I just try to do the stuff myself and this is what it's all about for me like I just have fun with it try to build something try to make it go and just enjoy it uh, so <laughs> there's my disclaimer so sorry about all that but I will fire this back up for you guys uh, before this video is over. And I also wanna try to jack up the rear end and figure out um, what my gears are back there because I haven't even done that test yet. Uh, so once I get this jacked up, I'm gonna spin the wheels and test to see what my gear ratio is. Uh, and then, then I'm gonna finish this out. Uh, I probably won't even record that because that's kind of boring. Um, but eventually, you guys will see this bad boy running and it'll be right and it'll be painted and all of the cracks and scratches and dents and stuff will probably be fixed. Maybe if I want to keep it patina, I might keep it patina. But So that's, that's it for the day, for right now at least. Uh, you'll see in a bit, I'll cut to uh, starting the engine and you guys can hear it a little bit. It'll run. Um, it did run for me earlier, and it's the crazy part about it is it started right up. Um, I, I primed it maybe once or twice with a little pedal action, uh, put the battery on, started right up. So I was really happy about that. Ran it for a little bit, uh, got the engine warm, and no no smoke, no leaks, no nothing like that. So I was really happy about that. So everything is sealed up really nice and tight. So I also looked closer at this engine and noticed that this block is like pristine it's clean in a mug and I bought a cam to put in here and I don't think I'm gonna do it anytime soon because it's running so nice and it's so clean that I feel like if I took it out and did something to it I'd be mad at myself for putting a cam in that that didn't need to go in right now so we're gonna leave that alone for the time being uh, and then we're gonna see what else we can do with it all right so I'll be back. Thanks, guys. Look before I go. I'll be
before we switch out. So the next thing you'll see is the video uh, of the truck starting up. Okay, so I'm back. I know I told you the next time you will see this video, he was the next scene or whatever, it would be me starting the truck. But I'm really excited because I fixed my hood fitment situation and I don't have to do anything except for fix that little crack. Huh. So it still has a pretty significant gap over here, but I'm not really gonna mess with it because it's it fits right. It just doesn't have any rub anymore, which means I'm good to go for now. But I'm happy with that. I'm very, very happy with that. See how it's tight over here? But I also heard that's actually just something that happens on GMs and whatnot. So, but if I want this gap to kind of even out, I'll just loosen up this little screw here and just pull the shroud down a little bit more and figure out a way to kind of cushion this against my window. Cause there's no, uh, I took my bunch of wipers off and all that stuff. But I was able to put that little screen back in there and it fits great now. Like no rub, no nothing. Let me see if I can pop the hood free. Well, I know I can. Yep, all good. Remember on the last video, you kind of heard the uh, little creak or whatever. Come on. Uh, of course, I'm not going to do one here. There we go. No issue, no sound. Oh, that? But no rub, man. That's actually just my arm over there needs to be greased a little bit. But I'm super happy about that. So I guess that means now <clears throat> I can start this thing up for you guys. So let me just get to that. spacer on here to raise that hill horn up a little bit uh, make sure it fits good into that uh, kind of canal right there but it's running it sounds pretty decent for a single exhaust but uh still got to fix the gauge cluster I don't have a tack uh, in my my uh, gas, uh, my fuel meter doesn't work, the speedometer doesn't work, but it's going man, got some voltage, uh, my oil pressure gauge not working, which I thought it was last time I was home, but I don't know, but my clock works, and my temp, temp gauge works, I still gotta weld these up, put them on and I still gotta do do 
of that, those wires to the power windows. But we'll see what happens with those. But anyway, I'm, I'm happy. I got that to work. Uh, I'm gonna switch this out back to a different, uh, uh, different uh, steering column because all I got is this and I don't have the windshield wiper button. Uh, but other than that, man, successful uh, day. Uh, I think before I leave now, I'm gonna go ahead and switch out the windshield wiper motor because that's just such an easy thing to do. It's stupid not to do it right now. So, but it's beast. Running, functioning, and doing its thing. So uh, thanks guys for sticking with me and I really appreciate any likes, any tips, uh, whatever you got for the videos. Um, I'm going to keep doing this. Uh, probably not going to see Beast again for a couple of months because I won't be home. I'll be back in New York. Uh, so that's that for now. And thanks guys for hanging in there with me. All right. Peace.